Saints fans, wide receiver Michael Thomas just took shots at head coach Dennis Allen. There is no doubt that there is a divorce coming for Michael Thomas in the Saints organization, but Thomas is making it known how he feels about head coach Dennis Allen, and he made it known how he felt about quarterback Derek Carr not that long ago. Since taking over for Sean Payton as head coach in 2022, Dennis Allen's journey as a Saints head coach has been quite a rocky one. A journey that he has felt like he's been on the hot seat for 99% of. And us fans have not enjoyed the Dennis Allen experiment so far two years into it. The reasoning behind hiring Dennis Allen and having an in-house hire was to have continuity of a winning culture that Sean Payton established. This is what Mickey Loomis and Dennis Allen said back when they hired Dennis Allen to be the head coach. They wanted to continue a winning tradition that Sean Payton had established for the Saints and to have Dennis Allen continue this winning tradition. And in his first offseason as the Saints head coach, Dennis Allen made some moves that got the fan base on his side. He drafted wide receiver Chris Olave, signed wide receiver Jarvis Landry, and signed Tyron Matthew, and repaired a broken relationship between the Saints and wide receiver Michael Thomas. All of these moves at the time seemed like great moves and ones that Saints fans were loving. He also pursued the opportunity of a franchise quarterback by going after Deshaun Watson that offseason, but would end up bringing James Winston back and Andy Dalton to back him up at the quarterback spot after Deshaun Watson chose the Browns as his trade destination. Let's just say the Saints not getting Deshaun Watson worked out significantly for the Saints. Going into the 2022 season, Dennis Allen had everything set. He had good weapons, a good defense, a talented quarterback, and his tenure got off to the right start when the Saints, led by James Winston, had a 16-point comeback in the final 10 minutes of the fourth quarter. But after that week one game against the Atlanta Falcons, Dennis Allen's tenure with the Saints would forever go downhill. He would forever be on the hot seat from the fan base. That season, he would bench James Winston for Andy Dalton. In hindsight, the trade that he made for Trevor Penning was a terrible trade, trading away Chauncey Garner-Johnson, someone the Saints fans loved for a bag of Doritos, was a terrible mistake and all of these moves ended up being huge mistakes and reasons why he failed in his first season as the Saints head coach. The breaking point for Dennis Allen and many of these fans was when he decided to run it back with offensive coordinator P. Carmichael after the 2022 season despite how bad the offense looked all year long. Nothing, just keep doing what he's doing, you know? Dennis Allen would earn some of the respect of the fan base when he signed quarterback Derek Carr, running back Jamal Williams, signed tight end Jimmy Graham, and brought back Michael Thomas. But as it turns out, the best signing right there was tight end Jimmy Graham. 2023 season got off to a nice start, going 2-0, but things would collapse in week 3, and Dennis Allen would once again be viewed as a liability. Throughout the season, Derek Carr would make excuses for Derek Carr's poor play saying they wouldn't play the blame game, but then would point fingers at players like Chris Olave when they made their mistakes. You know, Chris has really kind of got what's, what's kind of referred to as a bus ticket release, um, which means he's got a must outside release, you know, take off and, and uh, try to clear the defense out. Uh, you know, Derek thought there was a good chance to get a one-on-one -on -one shot with him on the outside lanes, which... You know, in our league, if you get a chance to, you know, get a good player in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, uh, that's what a lot of this league is is about. Um, and uh, and you know, Chris Chris didn't you know he didn't run that route the way that it needs to be run. So uh, that's what happens. So we we end up having a throwaway there. Come on up! What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on! I had one down. It was obvious that Dennis Allen was playing favorites and Derek Carr was his man. Allen was on the verge of a breaking point and possibly being fired mid-season off a three-game losing streak, but they were able to turn things around and get it back together and win a few games at the end of the season, and Dennis Allen's job was saved. But it was clear that Allen had lost the locker room when the players constantly talked about how much they were playing for each other as opposed to playing for the coaches. They had to clarify how much they meant playing for each other as opposed to anyone else. Alvin, you mentioned the guys playing for each other, specifically mm -hmm. the guys in the trenches. People are going to ask, is the locker room lost? How would you describe just how the locker room is at this point in the season? The locker room? I mean, so, do you guys still feel like you're gelled in? You talking about the, the players? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm, yeah, I, I feel like we good. Like I said, I'm playing for the, them dudes. When you lose a locker room, it's, it's, I, I feel like there's there's some miscommunications or misunderstandings with the, between players, and there's none of that. There's none of that going on. Um, so there's no loss of a locker room in that in that aspect of what you're saying as far as players go. 
and we saw that in the final game when James Winston and the whole team decided to get Jamal Williams a touchdown and basically gave Dennis Allen the middle finger. Once again, Dennis Allen would throw his players under the bus, blaming James Winston for that final touchdown in a press conference instead of handling it privately. But luckily for James Winston, his teammates would defend him on social media for his decision to get Jamal Williams a touchdown. Because of this, Mickey Loomis had to have a meeting with the team, telling them to buy into a generational loser or they would be out. Guys like Michael Thomas, Marshawn Lattimore, and Alvin Kamara didn't buy that bullshit. They weren't buying what Mickey Loomis and Dennis Allen were selling. Because of this, Marshawn Lattimore would have beef with Dennis Allen in the Saints front office because he is a loser of a head coach and now Marshawn Lattimore could possibly be traded. Alvin Kamara has an unknown future but for now it looks like he'll be on the team in 2024 but he's made it very clear and he's been vocal about how frustrated he is with the team. Uh, like I said, we gotta, find a, we gotta have some conversations about something because I don't, I don't like losing. And now for Michael Thomas, a guy who bashed Derek Carr on social media not that long ago. He bashed Saints reporter Jeff Duncan yesterday, and today he had some words for head coach and loser Dennis Allen. It's obvious Michael Thomas is not returning to New Orleans and he'll sign with another team this offseason, but on his way out he's making it known what's really going on in the Saints organization. It's no coincidence that Jeff Duncan of all people is the one that reported that Michael Thomas would be released even though he's a free agent and it's also not a coincidence that Jeff Duncan of all people wrote an article not long ago saying the Saints need to move on from Michael Thomas and Marshawn Lattimore, two guys who have beef with the organization and the head coach Dennis Allen. It's almost like the Saints tell Jeff Duncan what to write so they can lesser the value of a player and raise the value of the team. Someone posted that headline from Jeff Duncan calling out his bullshit and Michael Thomas would respond to this tweet basically calling out Dennis Allen. It's because we're not yes men, so we're cancers. But under a winning coach, we're looked at differently. It's a mentality that makes losers uncomfortable because they're used to losing all their career. In addition, Michael Thomas would also say, you know something's wrong with the world when the fearful criticize the fearless for the lack of cowardice. LOL, you know I don't give a fuck though. Wow, I mean just wow. Let's be honest here, did Michael Thomas really say anything wrong? He didn't say anything wrong there, and in my opinion, he hasn't said anything wrong. Everything that he's been saying is true, people just don't like to hear it. All of the things that he's been saying is true and he's basically been confirming what us fans have speculated about the Saints organization, but people just don't like the fact that it's coming from him. I think there's a reason the Saints are trying to get rid of Marshawn Lattimore and especially Michael Thomas and possibly Alvin Kamara. They're winners. And to losers like Dennis Allen, they're team cancers because they'll call them out on their bullshit. All three of these guys, Marshawn Lattimore, Alvin Kamara, and Michael Thomas have all been at the best of their position at one point in their careers. They know what it takes to be excellent in the NFL, they know what it takes to be great, and they know what it takes to win. And when you have guys like that in your locker room and you're a loser like Dennis Allen, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear them yapping. You don't want to have them not bought into what you're trying to sell. You want yes men and you want guys who are going to be doing what you're telling them to do as opposed to doing things their own way. If your best players and players who know how to win don't agree with what you're trying to do, what's it going to sell to the rest of the locker room? If Alvin Kamara and Lattimore and Michael Thomas aren't bought into what you're doing and they don't think what you're doing is right and what will lead to winning, what kind of message does that send to the rest of the team? So Dennis Allen, a loser head coach, Coach thinks guys like this, the guys who have been rumored to be traded over the past few two seasons since Dennis Allen has been head coach. I don't think that's a coincidence that those three guys have been rumored to be traded. The three guys who know how to win and Dennis Allen, the one guy who has been nothing but a loser as a head coach. So did Michael Thomas really say anything wrong or was it just the fact that it came from him that pisses people off? Either way, we all know the relationship between Thomas and the Saints is heading for a divorce and it'll happen within the next few days as free agency is right around the corner. And as to what teams Michael Thomas can go and play for this season, the Baltimore Ravens have been linked to a team possibly interested in wide receiver Michael Thomas to, get to come and play in Baltimore with quarterback Lamar Jackson. And based off his social media activity, based off some of his retweets and likes, it seems like he wants to go and play for the Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid to go compete for a Super Bowl ring and kind of revive his career to what it once was. I wouldn't be surprised either if he went to go on and play for the Detroit Lions or the Houston Texans. Both have huge links to the Saints as the Lions have Dan Campbell, Aaron Glenn, and a few other Saints-related players and coaches. As for the Texans, CJ Stroud went to Ohio State. There was a Michael Thomas tweet saying that CJ Stroud is one of those players who you grow up watching and you just want to go and play with them. 
Michael Thomas could also be linked to the Houston Texans. A dark horse candidate could maybe be the Denver Broncos as former Saints head coach Sean Payton is there, but I don't see why Michael Thomas would want to go to Denver simply due to the fact that he probably wants to win and compete for a Super Bowl ring and right now the Denver Broncos don't look like they're in that kind of situation and they don't have the quarterback who could get him the ball. He's going to want to go to a team that can get him the ball, scheme him up right, and probably go to a team that has a franchise quarterback. But we'll know soon enough. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Have a good rest of your day.